Hello and welcome to our GDL and MA Law course overview. I'm Peter Goodchild, Programme and Student Lead for the GDL course at our campus in Bloomsbury. I'll be guiding you through this course video, giving you information about the course and answering any burning questions you may have about studying at the University of Law. A quick bit about me. I started off as a commercial IP lawyer in the city and then joined the University of Law where I've been ever since. So today we're going to cover why you should study at the University of Law, what the GDL covers and its key features, the MA in Law, the current route to qualification and careers and employability at the University of Law. So let's start by looking at what the University of Law offers as a place to study law. The University has an established history in legal education dating back to 1876. The history is probably not of particular interest, but it means we know what we're doing and we're well connected. These connections mean we know what the profession wants from its newest recruits, and we have good relationships with law firms and other legal employers who regularly support our many extracurricular activities and events. A large alumni network is all part of that. There is an extensive alumni network who continue to work with the university and this includes a speakers programme and mentoring. Employability is a key focus for the university and we're proud of our excellent employability rates. 97% of our LPC students secured employment, a training contract or further study within nine months of graduation. As for BPC students, within nine months of successfully completing the course, 58% of our BPC graduates secured pupillage. In addition to benefiting from our excellent employment rates, if you choose to study a second course with us following your GDL or MA Law, you'll be entitled to our alumni discount of £500. One important aspect for a lot of students choosing the University of Law is that they're taught by the experts. All of our postgraduate law tutors are qualified lawyers, which means they can bring the law to life with real life practical examples and the knowledge and skills you need to succeed. And most importantly, there is a high level of support for all students, with access to support from tutors, including your own personal tutor, student services and careers. We want our GDL and MA Law to be accessible to all, and that's why we have a variety of flexible study options available, a choice of start dates and a number of locations to choose from across the UK. You can also study online. So, let's first take a look at our GDL before comparing this to our MA Law. Our GDL is a very relevant and rounded qualification. The course is divided into nine modules, made up of the seven compulsory subjects, a module at the start of the course providing insight into the profession, and a choice of module enabling you to study an area of law that you would like to specialise in. Under the current training regime, non-law degree students have to take a law conversion course in order to satisfy the academic stage of training. This requires students to study the seven foundation subjects or modules that are covered in all law degrees and must be completed before moving on to the LPC or BPC. So, what's unique about the University of Law GDL? Firstly, the Ethics and Professional Legal Practice module. This unique module taken at the start of the course includes an insight into different areas of the legal profession, consideration of the role of legal ethics within the profession, in addition, during the GDL, you'll be given the option of a further module which works on the development of key legal skills and professional attributes. This will be either a research project module or, for those wanting to practice in the corporate law, the Law of Organisations module. In the research project module, you will plan, research and write an essay tailored to reflect the area of law in which you intend to specialise. You will have time dedicated in your timetable to undertake this work and detailed guidance on both the legal research and essay writing skills. In the Law of Organisations module, you will study the principles of contract and corporate law that underpin the creation and running of business organisations. The module will develop your legal research skills in this area, resulting in the preparation of a legal report on an allocated problem-based question. On the full-time course, this module will be taught face-to-face -face in workshops. And on the part-time course, this module will be studied online. Online GDL students are required to take the research project module. 
So those are the areas we cover on the course, but lawyers generally specialise in specific areas of law. Throughout your studies, you'll touch on a wide variety of areas of law. These will include intellectual property, environment, human rights, tax, immigration and asylum, civil litigation, banking and finance, family and consumer law. Let's have a look at the choice of study options. You can study full-time, either at starting in September or January. You can study part-time, either in the evening or at the weekend. Or you can study online. The choice of options varies across our different campuses. So let's look in more detail now at the key features of the GDL. You'll see that the aim is for you to learn to think like a lawyer. We've teamed up with leading law firms to design a course that encourages you to think like a lawyer from the very beginning of your course. It's a practice-focused course with workshops and lectures. This varies depending upon your mode of study. The workshops allow students to hone their practical skills and work in a group. Full-time study has both lectures and workshops. Part-time study is all delivered in workshops with access to recorded lectures. The online IGDL course is largely self-study. There is a pre-course online study module which requires around 50 hours and is assessed within the start of the course. All your materials for your course are included in your fees. Our fees also include first attempt examination and assessment fees, access to all legal databases, interactive learning resources, state-of-the-art computer suites, and remote access for when you're working at home. I mentioned earlier about the supportive environment, which is a key feature of our GDL, as well as our MA Law. Each student will have a personal tutor and a subject tutor, and we operate an open door policy. We have an award-winning careers service and this employability support starts as soon as you accept your place through to when you are an alumnus. It includes interview preparation, workshops, one-to-one -one advice and pro bono. So let's now have a look at how your GDL is structured if you were to study full-time. There's a two-semester structure. In the first semester you study ethics and professional legal practice, public law, EU law and crime. Then you take your exams in the early part of the new year and you study contract, tort, uh, equity and land in the second semester. The structure of the January course is slightly different. Now let's take a look at our MA Law. Where the GDL is at graduate level, our MA Law is for students looking for a master's level award. The GDL and MA Law are both law conversion courses which comprise the seven compulsory subjects and although there are similarities in terms of their content, there are also some key differences. Some of the key characteristics of the MA Law are the qualification. As well as satisfying the law conversion requirement to qualify as a solicitor or barrister within England and Wales, it also provides a standalone internationally recognised master's award in and outside of the legal sector. This makes it attractive to employers in a range of disciplines, so this course is perfect for students who want to keep their options open. The MA Law has higher entry criteria. To be eligible, you need to have a 2-1 class degree or above. The course is more analytical and is taught in a slightly different way and in separate classes to the GDL. There is also a higher level project and a higher pass mark in each module. Whilst the master's loan is available for this product, students intending to progress onto the LPC or BPC will need to be aware that they would only be eligible for one master's loan. Let's look at how to qualify as a lawyer in England and Wales. Lawyer is a generic term that includes both barristers and solicitors. If you have a degree in any subject other than law, you will need to complete a law conversion course, either the GDL or the MA Law. This is true whether you want to be a solicitor or barrister. Why? Because you have to study seven core foundation subjects in law, common to both solicitors and barristers. Let's look at how to qualify as a solicitor. You'll start with either a qualifying law degree or a non-law degree plus GDL or MA Law. You'll then take your LPC, the Legal Practice course. When you go into practice, you'll then do two years as a trainee solicitor using a training contract 
and then hopefully you'll be admitted as a solicitor. Once qualified, solicitors are usually salaried and have involvement with clients in a huge variety of areas involving work that might end up in court, such as employment or contract disputes, or work that is more transaction-based, such as company or property work. There is a defined career either within a law firm or increasingly working in-house for a company as their lawyer on tap. If you know that you want to be a solicitor, it's worth looking at vacation schemes or work experience now. Let's now look at how to qualify as a barrister. Once again, you will either start with a qualifying law degree or a non-law degree plus GDL or MA Law. You'll then go onto the Bar Practice course. Once that's happened, you'll be called to the Bar and then take two six-month pupillages. Barristers are called to the Bar and are known as pupils as soon as they complete the BPC. Most pupils choose to undertake two six-month pupillages within a chambers to obtain the skills and experience necessary for a tenancy. This is a permanent position within a set of barristers chambers. Barristers are self-employed so it may take a while to establish yourself and have a regular income. However, there is greater independence, a lot more advocacy but less client contact. It's also worth mentioning that if you're considering going on to study the LPC, this course will be replaced by the Solicitor's Qualifying Examination, or SQE, in the next few years. I suggest you take a look at our website for more detail on how the introduction of the SQE will affect your studies. We put a strong focus on our employability here at the University of Law. Our employability team have lots of support to help students here, ranging from one-to-one -one careers advice, assessment day preparation, national and local law fairs, as well as pro bono and work experience also. Take a look at the PDF attached to this video. It covers everything that's available to you before, during and after your time here at the University of Law. As soon as your place is accepted, you can start to book careers appointments. During your time with us, there are face-to-face -face and Skype appointments, as well as a variety of internal and external events to meet employers. You will also be able to use some employability services up until 18 months after you leave by using our dedicated Alumni Careers Service. Thank you for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed our GDL and MA Law course overview. If you haven't yet been to visit a campus, do register for an open day or come along to a weekly campus visit. For more information about any of the topics we've covered, you can visit our website and also do get in touch with us via social media. Thank you again for watching and we hope to see you soon.